Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program I've recently installed, this error alert. The program can start because FPMS Win CRT runtime L110.dl is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So let's start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name .dll. You can choose any results you want. I'll be choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, click on Start and search for System Information. You can see mine is 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update, so I'll be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has multiple fixing methods also. With the download completes, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files one is a DLL, other one is README. You need to use the DLL file. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then local DXC, Windows, and find your folder name System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLLs. Then click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so they are asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is properly placed in 32 bit folder. So, job done 32 bit and go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user like me, open this PC one more time, local DXC, Windows, and this time find a folder name syswall 64 This is the home of 64 bit DLLs. And same again. Check this one more time. Yeah, the file is properly placed in 64 bit users too. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are two lockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again, and that will surely do it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.